Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Vikram. In this class, we will try to understand ICMP. In, uh, it is Internet Control Message Protocol. In short, it is ICMP. So, the ICMP protocol is a network layer protocol. So, apart from IP, ARP, we also have another protocol. So, in our previous video where we have discussed about ARP, we have discussed that. Uh, apart from these, uh, we, have, we also have another protocol, I ICMP. So, what this ICMP will do is, it is going to generate error messages. So, errors that are uh, that are uh, generated in the process of transmitting the data from source to destination there are different types of error messages that are being generated and they will intimate the source that this kind of error message has been occurred so in the transmission if an error occurs we don't know whether the transmission is done successfully or not what kind of error has been occurred and how that uh, how that error can be resolved so the decision has to be taken by the source right so for that to happen internet uh, the network layer is having a process called icmp so what this icmp is internet control message protocol so in that it is going to send the control messages or error messages uh, to the source so that the necessary action is taken by the source so one such kind of uh, error messages is uh, congestion control messages for example if there is a uh, uh, if there is a system uh, called a and uh, uh, in this we, we are having routers uh, we are having uh, routers in this way and it wants to communicate with uh, b a wants to communicate with B and uh, here somewhere in uh, uh, assume that it is router and this this uh, router is congested so it is having too much of load and it cannot accommodate the packets so in that case so this router will send an ICMP packet ICMP packet stating that I am congested with uh, heavy load so that message will get received at the receiver uh, at the source and the source is going to take uh, uh, the necessary action in that similar way uh, for example consider this network it is don't fragment so in our network packet we have seen a, a df a field cat in the ipv header we have seen a field called df in the second row of the ipv header we have seen df df means do not fragment what does that mean is for example if a is having a packet and if it is setting the df as one df as one in the ipv header the df is set to one it means that the packet that is being transmitted you should not fragment it uh, for example if this is uh, uh, this is having a capacity of 1500 bytes this ethernet and this network is having a capacity of 512 bytes now in order to send the data from a to b a to b so 1500 bytes will get transmitted through this network and here at the router this router has to make the decision that it has to make that 1500 bytes piece of uh, uh, packet into small small pieces into 512 bytes but what we have set in the ipv header we have said that don't fragment is set means you don't have the routers in between you don't have the right to fragment the uh, uh, right to fragment the packet so in that in that case what the router will do is it will send a icmp packet icmp packet stating that and this icmp is again embedded in the ip this is the ip header and this is the ip packet ip packet and within this we are going to send the icmp packet this is icmp packet so what it states is you are you are telling me that i should not fragment but there is a, uh, in order for the further transmission i want this packet to be transmitted in, transmitted into 512 bytes so this request will be transmitted so what the source will do is now it will make the packet into small small pieces so that it can accommodate it so that it can transmit it data so this 1500 bytes of packet is uh, divided by the source itself so no other system is having the right to fragment so that is what the source is intimating so for that request for that uh, uh, decision that is made by the for that decision that is made by the source it will send an internet control message protocol stating that i want the packets to be uh, uh, to be uh, fragmented into 512 bytes in my journey 
so in the in the journey from source to destination uh, this is this is the piece that i want to uh, uh, fragment into so now the source will fragment the entire data into small small pieces with the capacity of 5 12 bytes and the transmission will be done between the source and destination these the, in this way there are different types of icmp packets internet control message protocol packets so based upon the uh, type of error that particular icmp error uh, um, uh, icmp will be control message will be generated to the source so this is all about icmp hope you got the clarity on this concept thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates and if you have any doubts regarding this concept please post your doubt in the comment section below and if you feel that this video is helpful to you please give us a like symbol and please share this video with your friends so that they will also get benefited thanks for watching